Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. My name is Shinobi. I'm a virtual photographer, which means that I take photography but in video games. I'm also a photo mode consultant for publishers or studios who want specific QA testing or experienced feedback on their photo mode. But today is not about me. Today I want to take a moment for a shout out. Actually, I think I might start to do this occasionally now. There are some amazing talent out there in the virtual photography community and I want to showcase some of the people who inspire me or that I admire. But to go a bit beyond just the simple shout out, I want to show some of their work and explain how and why they impact me. Today we start with, and God forbid I butcher their name, Hadger. Hadger is an artist I discovered on X not so long ago, maybe one year before, I'm not sure. They keep impressing me with the sets they put out and uh, you can find them on X or Instagram. All the links are in the description below, obviously. So they are shooting on PS5 and uh, Series X according to their bio and I'm pretty sure they are skillfully post-editing their shots. Now it's very interesting that they shoot on console because a lot of people still think that PC tools are like unfair in contest because they allow much more creativity than console photo modes. And you know, although I agree that a lot of console photo modes uh, put a leash on uh, creativity and too much restrictions. It doesn't mean that PC shooters are more creative than console ones. Definitely not. Actually, the creativity is very much more a matter of the photographer than the photographic uh, tool they use. As a matter of fact, I did a video before about how to unlock your creativity. I strongly suggest you to check it out as one of the tips I give in this video is exactly what I love in Hadger's work and exactly what I struggle to do myself, get away from the game. All right, so let's check out their work and talk a bit about it. The first thing that will strike you when you scroll down Hadger's profile is uh, the strengths of the sets. I personally love to think about my sets and try to make them appealing you know on on twitter uh, that's the reason why i prefer twitter over instagram and, and other platform it's really because you have this possibility of creating some really nice sets hadjar is really good at creating shots that will play with light uh, and contrast and you know uh, a lot of dark tones or you know, using the game's effects to make it the actual subject of the shot. They will really enhance and work around that specific light effect, for instance, and make the most out of it in, in their shots. Or, you know, a good thing to do when you want to just make personal photography and get away from the game is to go on super small details, obviously. Um, it's uh, it's uh, the best way you have to take your freedom from the game aesthetic and really put your own twist in the in the shot. And of course, uh, they will also have a color theory always impeccable, uh, always on point. And uh, again, on this shot, you can see that they are using the light effect of the game to create something super unique and a super immersive red light with this super strong rim light on Eloy. That's really on point. You can see if you compare with other uh, games with completely different photo modes that Hadjar is still able to pull off the same type of shots. Like this one, for instance, although the cropping is something that will hurt my eyes because I, I'd rather have a, a 4x3, as you well know if you know me. Uh, but anyways, the, the point of the shot here is the light on the face uh, using uh, the opposition of blue and reds and, you know, the strong silhouette stuff. That's really a shot that he could have made in Horizon Zero Dawn as well, or Forbidden West. It's really how Hadjar will use the game to express their creativity and their touch 
their style instead of just using the game the game aesthetic that is the most interesting to me in this set for instance uh, i'm not sure what game they used this one is obviously um, horizon i think this one too because i saw another shot with the same colors uh, later again some detail shot that could be made in almost any game that have rain effects and this one look at this perfect little one with so much negative space very blue dark blue that is contrasting with the this super bright orange and yellow of the two fishes and giving them that much um, negative space really isolate them in the shot it's perfectly centered it's super masterized it's really on point which is what i respect the most in hadger's work in this case you know we play the same games i know this game i shoot this game and i'm still like how how did they do this and this is the what i i like to call the how factor that i love the most is that i mean there is obviously some post editing here i guess but it's so well made and it's so serving the aesthetic of the shot the color uh, oppositions this bright red bond that is uh, enhancing Carl's presence so what makes you understand what game it is is really just the character here but the shot is not about the game the shot is about the creativity of Hadger look at this one this is amazing Hadger is really doing something I respect a lot and I, I tend to not do myself but I try to they take some super strong choices especially with Doff uh, you will find a lot of shots super out of focus on Hadra's work and that's something that I respect a lot because oh, every time I try to make it myself I'm like oh yeah I mean I want to but I want also this detail to show so I quit on on the full out of focus aesthetic but every time I see it, I'm like, oh, damn, it's so bold and so cool. So this shot is really just about the composition, the colors, uh, again, this purple and the, the shadow on the wall. And I love how they keep the, the super bright white head uh, of Cal's, I think it's Cal's, um, in the shot just because it explains how the the face is appearing on the shadow part right now i would probably have given up on keeping this white super too much lightened face on my shot personally i i wouldn't have the the cojones to <laughs> to keep it and i admire this Another thing that draws me to uh, Hadra's work, it's not that it inspires me, it's more like it looks like my work. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying that, yeah, I, I understand this. It's, it's right down my alley, that's something I would take. So every time I see this type of shot that I'm like vibe, vibing with, I'm like, oh, dude, it's it's all it's perfect. It's made just like I like it, you know. So of course, I think we have some similarities in the taste, and I think I should improve my my ways of producing this type of shots that I like. This one is crazy. This one is crazy. I love this. So you have a light bulb, probably in fa in front of a face because you can. Uh, you can see a, a color bone here, I guess, like the, the, the neck of someone. And you're not sure about what's going on other than this. And it's all left to your impressions. So again, strong choices. And I love it because it works. It works. So like, oh, wow, it, it somehow it looks good. You don't know if it's uh, in, in Red Dead Redemption or The Last of Us. It could be any game it's really just about their id and their their choices they made all the way to this composition in this shot sometimes you have people doing some artsy shots and it's just like random it 
kind of falls flat. Uh, you're like, yeah, sure, it it looks like movements and stuff. It's not what's happening in Hadra's work. Every time I feel like it's very masterized. I don't know if it is, right? I'm just saying that the results feel like very controlled. So, in for instance, this shot here, the way the silhouette is creating the center of the composition, the way you understand that it's a person and uh, some flowers or whatever, you know, plants, and that everything else in the shot is about the colors, the disappearance of the purple stains. It flows, you know, you have a rhythm in the shot with the diagonal. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful and you, again, you're just like, how? How did they come to this result? I want to be able to have my, my pass crossing this type of result, stopping there and deciding this is good. This is good for publishing and this is good for my, my portfolio, right? Because when it's your shot, you know what's before this stage. You know what came before and you don't know what can come after. So one of the most difficult thing to do is to stop when you think that that's enough. And I really, really, again, really am impressed by this type of decisions. This shot, for instance, I mean, it's not a portrait of Eloy. It's a work on colors and Eloy is here to give a, a third element to the shot. I don't know. I, I don't know if I make any sense here. Yet another example of super creative uh, take. So you have this flower in the foreground and then the arrow that with the forced perspective will create the type of, you know, the flower body. I don't know how it's called in English. And to make sure that it's clear that it's a flower, they kept another flower in the frame. So you understand that you are in a field of flower and everything flows much more smoothly. Also, the colors, again, color theory, this super soft orange, beige, going with the, the purple, is it's really on point again. So, you know, this type of shots between the legs, that's something I do a lot. So obviously it talks to me. Uh, and again, look at the colors. It's so well made, so well made. You have this type of um, focusing on one single, simple, small element that is the, the bird. And then everything else in the shot, the, the negative space and the colors are here to just bring your eyes to this flying eagle what can i say it's amazing again super strong work with the the tones and the, the black and white values you have the strong i mean i did a video on black and white you should check it out as well if you haven't all right so i guess you get my point um Speaking about some strong choices like Dove, out of focus shots, Hadra also has a lot of shots, really gritty, grainy, eerie, <laughs> you know, very dirty shots. And it, it goes super well with, uh, like in this one, for instance, you can probably see that the, the definition of the, the shot, it's not great. And then it becomes part of the story it becomes part of the shot itself to be super you know uh dirty and uh and grainy so again strong strong choices here that serves a purpose that it serves the the story of the shot and i don't even know what game it, it is and it doesn't matter because again all the games are there to serve hadger's creativity and style not the opposite all right, I think you got the idea. I strongly, strongly suggest you to go on their uh, account on X or on Instagram. Again, all the links in the description. Give them a follow. 
um, drop a comment here to compliment their work uh, if they check out the video i'm sure they will because i will let them know that i did this they will probably like it and drop also the name of people you would like to see me cover in a future episode maybe uh, obviously no guarantee i will but you know uh, it might make make me discover some new talents as well and uh, you know i want to explain how these works are really important for developing virtual photography as an art itself you know like in it's not always about uh, selling a game or showcasing a game which I, I have to say that I tend to do a bit too much myself. I, I try, you know, I kind of feel like I, I have to showcase the game. Um, I have to pay my respect to the game art and, you know, the environment and stuff, which is cool. Uh, we should do this as virtual photographers, of course, but I also feel like I should definitely make more of those type of shots. Very isolated details, very strong uh, decisions made for me, for my portfolio, uh, more than for the game itself. Yeah, I'm super grateful that people like Hadjar out there are here to remind me this from time to time so thank you for watching this video so far subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, more are coming obviously and uh, find me on x if you don't know me uh, from there and i'll see you in the next video in the meantime keep snapping <laughs>